Buenos dias, muchachos. Happy Monday, April 15th. You guys know I'm out of the building today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. So I'm going to try to cover information with you uh, while I'm gone relatively quickly so you have the rest of the time to get your work done. Uh, we're talking indexes today. Market indexes is what Silvana Hanau talks about every morning at the start of class. And when we're done going through that, you have the rest of the time to complete the Chapter 12 reading guide. You have questions 24 through 33. That document should be completed and submitted by tomorrow. So make sure you get that done. All right, let's review what Silvana is talking about. Every, every start of class, she gets on, the Dow is up, the Dow is down, the S&P 500 is closed at a lower point uh, than it did the day before. What is she talking about? The Dow Jones Industrial Average is an index average of 30 large industrial firms' values. So they take the value of Coke, 3M, Visa, 30 companies, add them up, divide by 30. This is the average price. Now, there's some. I think there's some weighting in the, the Dow Jones might be straight up. It might be the S&P that's weighted. Irrelevant. It's the average. You guys know how to take the average of something. You add up what they're worth, you divide by that number, you got an average. If a majority of the companies are up, the Dow is up. If a majority of the companies have lost money, the value has decreased, the Dow is down. 30 large industrial firms. Now, we do need to point this out. Industrial. If I were to ask you what industrial is, you guys undoubtedly are going to talk about manufacturing and factories. Logical, but not in this context. We're talking about different in, uh, industries of the United States economy, tech, retail, pharmaceutical, health and wellness, homewares, finance, on and on and on. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is the averaging of value for various industries, stock prices. Just because the Dow Jones is up doesn't mean that you're up. And just because the Dow Jones is down doesn't mean that you're down. If you're not invested, in companies that are on the Dow or are included in the average, it's really irrelevant to you. But it's more or less uh, a way of measuring whether or not things are going well in our economy or things are going poorly in our economy. The S&P is very similar to the Dow Jones, except it is just larger. We're talking about 500 companies and their values averaged out. Both the Dow and the Jones could be up and you could be down. And you could do the inverse of it, but more or less, it is just kind of a evaluation of what is going on at any one given point in time based on the values of certain companies' stocks. It's usually through these indexes that we determine whether or not we're in a bear or a bull market. If we're in a bear market, that means for a period of time, stock prices are going down, right? If a bear is going to kill you, it's going to swat at its huge, swat its huge paw at you more or less rip your face off and you're going to die. A bull is when prices are going up, right? If a bull is going to kill you, it's probably gonna gore you with its horn and it's probably gonna lift you up. So bear is down, rawr, bull is up. Rawr. That's what it means. Those are the averages. Rest of chapter 12, for tomorrow. 24 through 33, and we'll pick up with, again, more ways to evaluate securities as to whether or not you should or should not invest into it, as well as various um, uh, inve investment strategies and what you can do in the future. Hope you're all well. I'll see you virtually tomorrow. Until then, go Spartans.